Hey guys, throughout the course of my week, I generally get probably anywhere from 6 to 10 requests to review gear in a given week. And of those, I generally only accept probably a small portion, which is maybe one or two of them, and sometimes none. And that stuff ranges from really cheap garbage survival gear and garbage survival kits that companies are trying to do from new companies who are trying to start things out and get you know, their companies rolling to even the big companies, a lot of different places, a lot of different people, all kind of asking. You know, it's the new easy marketing is, is to let us YouTube reviewers do the marketing for you. So this company, uh, which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it, I think it's Ofgo or Opgo or not sure, um, asked me if I wanted to review one of their action cameras. And you know, as I've mentioned a million times on this channel, I've really wanted to get a new and upgraded camera so that I can do more outside without having to lug a tripod and all that stuff. So I said, yes, absolutely, I would love to do it. So this is a relatively inexpensive action camera or, you know, like a GoPro, if you want to use that uh, that brand name. This is not, this is kind of a, a uh, different name to it but generally the same idea. So this thing comes, as you can see, loaded. Now, I thought when I opened this thing up, I was just like completely overwhelmed with what it comes with. But uh, the camera's here, and right now it's in the little waterproof case that a lot of these uh, action cameras come in, but of course you can take that out and use any of these accessories with it. Now the camera is a 12 megapixel, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got uh, 1080p, it's got a lot of good stuff. You know what, guys? I am not a technology person. So for me, this is like, a lot of this stuff is just overwhelming because I just don't even know, you know, like, is it good? Is it bad? Is this up to date? I don't even know. What I care about is, is it easy to use? Can I make videos on it? And is it going to be easy for me to integrate in the channel? And it absolutely was. <clears throat> so as you can see from a couple of my last videos, I included footage while using this into my reviews. I, I actually did a couple and I showed, uh, you know, cutting some with the silky saw and the, uh, uh, which axe was it? The, uh, oh yeah, the Hulse Brooks axe. You know, footage using the GoPro. It's really easy to set up, very easy to transfer the videos to the computer. I mean, literally you just plug it into a USB and it's just like using a USB drive. Very simple, very easy, even for someone like me who's technologically challenged. I was able to go and get videos off this very quickly, so that was cool. Uh, we're just going to kind of throw some of this stuff out as we go along just to make some room here. Here's the uh, USB cable that it came with to uh, hook up with. And it does have a pretty good memory. I believe it's... Uh, oh, you're going to look at the... I'll send a link. You'll have to look at it, but it's got a pretty good internal memory to it, and it does accept SD cards. This is a chest mount, so if you want to wear it on your chest, and this is compatible with a lot of these different accessories. It just kind of slides into that slot there. Um, headband. If you want to wear it on your head, this right here is for that. You can see it's got already got the little mount for it, so I can just put it right on there, which is pretty cool. This right here is a small little clip-on mount that lets you hook it up to tripods and all that. Very handy. This is what I use the most. Um... A lot of different angle brackets, you know, for different angles. That's for a bicycle. Uh, these are like Velcro, so if you want to put it on the, like the dashboard of your car. Here's a little uh, rotatable, you know, oh my god, the amount of connections on this thing, guys, is insane. Like, if you can think of a way to hook this thing up, it's going to be there. Comes with a remote, which will let you do videos and uh, pictures. The instructions. Actually, very easy to understand, which is awesome. And it actually explains different ways to set it up, which accessories to use to set it up different ways. It's got all your different things. And another thing, guys, the menus on this are very easy to use. When you're setting this thing up, actually using it, we'll turn it on in a minute. But yeah, a whole bunch of different clips. There's so many different ways to set this thing up. It is insane. Check it out. Extra battery jackpot. So you actually get two batteries with this thing. And they seem to last pretty good. I took about 30 minutes of video and it still had plenty of juice left. This is a little uh, floaty. So if you want to put it and float it down a river, you can do that. 
It's got some uh, like little Velcro ties, tethers. That way if you want to like tether it to a bike handle so it doesn't fall off. Little replacement front cover, I guess, if you want the gray. So we're going to pop this thing out of the case real quick. Yeah, you need some fingernails to pop this sucker out. I'll turn this thing on real quick. Like I said, very simple to use. Nothing major going on here, guys, which is what I like about it. I did not want something overly complicated. There we go. Turns on. And literally, it's like looking at a picture of a picture. Um, you literally just hit the button up here to record. And I think the capacity is like one hour. And then uh, I think in the front here lets you change to the modes. Yep, see like right here, that's picture mode now. That's like a, like an action picture thing. It'll take a sequence. That one is, I think, the uh, like a shutter delay where it gives you a timer, your settings, and then back here to video. I don't have much battery left in this. I've been using it quite a bit, but yeah, you cycle through your modes. Very easy to do. And of course, like I said, your button up there is for taking pictures and all that. So, very good. The viewfinder is very easy to see. As you can see, it shows up very well. It focuses even close up on things. So we'll actually kind of put my hand there so you can see I'm only just in front of it. Very good focus even at close range distances. Very good focus. It's got that kind of fish angle lens so you can if you're working very close up with things use it. But overall guys this is pretty cool. I'm actually very happy with this and it's going to be a big part of the channel so you're going to be seeing this and uh seeing footage from it as we go along so i haven't figured out the wi-fi function yet guys i'm still working on it but uh hopefully i'll get that figured out that'll make things a little easier but i just haven't quite haven't quite figured it out yet but overall i've had a lot of fun with this and uh i got a lot of video of my son on here and we've been uh doing a lot with it and really kind of enjoying ourselves and uh he likes to take it in the backyard and you know put it on and run around and then go watch the videos later just a lot of fun, aside from the channel, just uh, using this thing and uh, really uh, turn that off. You just hold it in, and it turns it off. But overall, guys, very well featured. Lots of accessories. You don't have to pay extra. This is pretty much everything you need to get started with this kind of camera. And it's very easy. You can hook it up to your tripod. You can wear it. You can hook it up into your car, there's hookups here for helmets, you name it. It's very cool and uh, very glad they reached out to me to review this because I'm very, very pleased with it. And you'll see more and more of this as the uh, as we go along and, uh, and do more reviews. So there you go.